Yo, what is up guys? This is my first video and this channel is gonna be me fishing. It's gonna be me like just outdoors, you know? And yeah, guys, so today I'm gonna be going over my rod and reel setup that I have. Okay. So for the rod, I have this IITG hybrid tech grips. It's just rod and yeah, and then I have the hybrid Shakespeare. Or not hybrid, sorry. Agility Shakespeare real and then I have 50 pound if y'all guys can see that 50 pound it's um braid just so because the pond that I fish at it has like a really like a really big bass and I'm just going to be going over it showing y'all my brakes and stuff so what y'all want to do if y'all ever get a bait caster if y'all don't know you want to just hold it and then this little thing right here you want to just set it up and up until it go, until your lure goes down slowly Mine just got caught a little bit. So yeah. And then your brake, you want to set it on minimum and keep going up until you like it. And that just needs to be up. Alright guys, I'm gonna go in with my first cast. So right now, since I can't fish all this because we're in like tornado stuff. I just sit out here and just cast it because I got nothing else to do. All right, guys, I'm back, and right now, I don't have that much tackle, but I'm going to show you what I have, at least, okay? So, first, I just have some crankbaits. I actually forgot, I think this is called a, yeah, the torpedo. I have a torpedo, actually. And then, Well, there's two more crankbaits right there. You can't really see them because they're caught up. But that's my crankbait section. I have more than that. I just don't want to get them out because they're a pain in the butt. Okay, guys. Well, that's all my... That's some of my crankbaits. So that's one thing that I have. And second, we just have some Bobby Garland and crappie baits. They're just trying to catch some crappie. Just use these. And then this is what I use usually with that little drop shot it's just little worms right there okay then I have little tr let's see what this is some crappie magnets it's for trap it's for trout actually okay and then I have some let's see what these are these are some more worms I don't really know what these are but those are worms. And then we have some bandito bugs. You already know. Shout out to Guggen Squad for being the best bait supply ever. Then we have this worm that I didn't finish rigging up a while ago. Okay. We have this little lizard, gizzard, lizard, whatever you want to freaking call it. So that's one of... That's like really the only allures I got. But... I do actually, indeed have if I can get this thing to work I have some it's eight pound on the flex 700 yards okay and then I had this little knife one it has pliers on it for the fish can't get your lure out it's got a little saw if you need to get your lure off like a bush or something. It's got another little saw right here. And it's got the, oh, that's a nail filer, I think. Frick. Okay. It's got a really sharp knife on there. And then some other screwdrivers and stuff. That'll come in handy. Yeah, guys, that's basically all. Oh, and then I have that stuff. It's more worms and hooks and weights and stuff. Yeah, guys, that's basically all of my tackle. And then I will go show you all my poles. I'll so be I'm there. back in my garage now. So I have my dad's poles, which he likes catfishing with some Zedcos, and he like that's what he likes. We 
have a broken six foot six inch rod that we don't really use no more. And then we have a, so I'm gonna set y'all up real quick, right here. So y'all can just see this. So we have this expandable rod with a little spin reel on it that I might start, I might set up tonight. And I might use that in my next video that y'all will see. Okay, and there's that. And then we have a little rod for catfishing, a catfish rod. I use it at the dam sometimes too. And yeah, that's that. Okay, and then we have this last is it's a rod, but nobody really uses it because it's kind of broke, but it still works fine to me, but they think it's broke. And yeah, guys, that's basically all of my fishing stuff. Now y'all know what I fish with, what I'm going to be using. So, yeah, guys, I'll see y'all in the next video. Oh, yeah, I can't forget about this. Zebco, 33, I think. I have no clue. But that's actually a really good rod if you're a beginner. And yeah, guys, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope y'all guys enjoyed that. Just a little that's of me fishing outdoors and stuff. And yeah, guys, so I'll see y'all in the next video. See ya.